Hello everybody, welcome back to Doggo Card Reviews. We are here back with much uh, delay, back with an actual uh, deck discussion for the third time now. The last one was like so many months ago, I forget the exact date. <laughs> it's like six months ago, man. That was eons ago. That was eons ago. I remember that thing uh, for Komosubo we did. <laughs> but, as you can see from the little intro image here, we are doing everyone's favorite Queen Toplets. So, yep, this will be Doggo Deck Discussion number 3, the Queen Tessential Queen Toplets. Uh, game marked by the code 5HY. <laughs> right. I don't know why, but it, I'm just like... Oh, it, should be... it should be G H Y, damn it. <laughs> That's like actual numbers in our lettering. Oh boy. Anyway, of course, as with all deck profiles and deck text, the following is ultimately an opinion of those speaking in this video. So Gavin and myself here, and should therefore not be taken as indisputable fact. This video is meant to open up and facilitate a discussion between the speakers and the viewers. So if this video contains viewpoints you do not quite agree with, feel more than free to leave your thoughts in the comments below. As Gavin will almost always tell you, that helps the YouTube algorithm. Yep, it really does. <laughs> Those of us behind Doggo Carnivores do not deem ourselves at perfect players that have solved the game in any meaningful way, so we are definitely more than welcome of your opinions and more than willing to follow up on any comments made to this video. And for this one specifically, furthermore, unlike our previous deck discussions, this video will NOT, in capital letters, visually present any alternatives we discuss in passing due to the character-centric nature of the products encompassing this title, further restricting the number of cards appropriate for a competitive build. Oh boy, so let's start with those level zeros, man. Yes, level zeros, we have 17 of them. Oh, <gasps> more than 16 from Doggo Carnivores, what? I know, right? The horror. <sighs> Alright, I will read this first card then. Now, school camp, Yosuba Nakano. So, here's a little 0 0 cost, 1500 power, ran as a single copy in this deck. Octo, when she is placed from your hand onto the stage, put the top two cards of your deck into the waiting room. If there is a climax amongst those cards, she gets two soul, two additional soul until the end of the turn. And uh, she is a on play ditch a climax to salvage a quintuplet character of your choice. Yeah, this card, this card is good, yo. Um, it, it, it's one of those things where, look, that look that mill two, that mill two, and Yotsuba being an emergency, emer, emergency three soul three soul attacker. Like, mm -hmm. who cares if she's crashing in? But yeah, going for that three plus damage, right? <laughs> That's, and, and you know, I, even again, she, she's a good emergency hack outlet. Oh yeah. Oh, oh! I have too many pants in hand. Hmm. Yeah. Let's convert that into a creature, shall we? Right. Right. <laughs> I mean, it, it's it's kind of a staple. Like it, it's one of those. Well, you play it because. Like I've seen some lists eschew this card and just go. Man, you're eschewing this in a list with bars. What are you doing? That makes me fair. I will argue that at least with any bar-centric decks, they have other hand outlets. True, but they aren't playing those either. Then I, um, I rest my case. <laughs> uh, that's why I go scratching my head. <laughs> guys, play Yotsuba. She's a good card. Come on, guys. D don't be like that. Not like if this. If your tower has one of these, you most likely play a single ten. At least a single copy. I've seen people bump this up to two. Hey, hey, there's, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I can see the case for it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, boy. oh boy. Shortcut. Ichika Nakano. Zero, zero, 002k during your turn. She's a 3k. And she's and she's our clean cut for the deck. Alright, first of all, this is a trial deck card. Trial yeah. effing deck card. <laughs> And queen cards are good. Going second, especially like oh, I get to like, you know, on the first turn I can field three characters, field this and two other guys, 
Let's go to fucking town. 3K probably runs over most fucking level zeros in this game. Let's be honest here. <laughs> I mean, I use the I use the, I use the vanilla. Level zero is the only level where I use the vanilla stat line as a baseline, because being a vanilla is actually quite good. I don't know why, but it forces awkward plays at the bare minimum. Oh, definitely. If, if not just outright being bigger and. Shortcut. Well, if you've seen the short, if you've watched the scrimmages, if you're an avid fan, avid watcher of those, you'll see me rarely play the shortcut. But at the same time, I rarely draw the shortcut on time. I don't right. know what it is. More I whereas what... I, I think, I think, Gavin, I've, I've done this way many more times than you have, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> and, and short. Here's the thing about clean cuts in general. They facilitate the unga bunga so much easier like right, right. i don't know about you man but this game like level zero has gotten so aggressive now oh, like, definitely definitely because if you're able to like try to catch your opponent off guard like you know here's the thing think about think about the past five games you played just you know just a simple five games you played mm -hmm. how many of those did you already have a good level one turn set up in a hand by the time you hit your second turn of the game. Not that many. I'd say maybe one. So, rough, maybe like, give, you know, 20%, 20% of the time you might have your level one game already prepared by your second turn of the game. The right. Bunga Bunga strategy is meant to catch people off guard on those 80% of the time where they don't have their level one shit ready <laughs> by their second turn of the game. I'm the man, I'm the man. How many times do I just go, uh, unga bunga, you just go, fuck, what do I do now? Like, uh, I have a bunch of level zero in hand. I guess I have to continue playing level zero at level one. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I, I mean, why Schwartz has now become a game of the unga bunga is real. And, it, uh, for better or worse, it works. It works, like, remember back in, like, 2016, 2017, where, unga bunga, you're insane. I mean, um, it, was start, it was around that time like Unga Bunga started to become a little more viable because people started, more towns got access to some form of logger, and if they had one, a clean cut. Like, clean cuts didn't become that much more common until like, this past two, these past two years, honestly, from what I've noticed. <laughs> uh, the Kirito from Ordinal Scale. Like, I mean like, like, you know, around his time, not that many hours were released, right? No, I can't. Uh, he was the prop. He was the he was the card that introduced the profile to me. Okay, you It's gonna be like okay, definitely. I mean, that's the reason why we call it clean cut is because of Yukiko it's, from Persona Four. <laughs> yeah, but nobody mentioned Yukiko. I didn't learn about Yukiko until much, much later. Remember? Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you. This, yeah, again, Gavin King just came like like I was already playing this game for five years or so. <laughs> I mean, I came in. I mean, I came in during World War One, and clean cuts. Nobody told me what a clean cut was. I think I've since like the fall of I, home. <laughs> Well, they weren't. They weren't very. I mean, P four is unplayable even with Yukiko. So. Oh yeah, definitely. But, yeah, I mean, but, but nowadays we just go. Uh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm I'm a unga bunga here and just going wait unga bunga yeah that's that's good. Yeah. And with combination with in combination with other cards that we're gonna see later, it's fucking amazing to like dodge pesky like reversals and stuff like that. Oh, and and clean cuts also also allow you to get quote unquote, you know to get away with said unga bunga. Yeah, 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 definitely. Oh, holy shit! Like, um, a particular script from yesterday. Oh, 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 Jesus! This Bopero. And, and, oh man, that was ridiculous. And the runner, oh, oh dear god, <laughs> he got creamed. Yeah, that was, that, was a, that was a pretty nasty setup. <laughs> but, I mean, I, and also, man, why is this a TD card? Why is this a TD card? Don't wait, I mean, like, it was only, only two of these come in one TD, if I remember correctly? It's two for TD. Okay. I mean, I, 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 that's, that's probably fair, you know, force people to buy two TDs. <laughs> I mean, well, like I said, as a marketing, from a marketing standpoint, 
Gotsubun is literally the perfect set. It, it, well, I don't, I don't know about fully perfect, but it, it's it's definitely one of the better titles with, or it's better. It's definitely the title with some of the best products we've seen in this game's history. I mean, hello, you attract both the sweat, the honey for the sweat, and all the oshi. Yeah, like you know, you're playing this for one or both of two main reasons. <laughs> You're either very sweaty, or you love the girls that much. I'm both, by the way. Yeah, I'm you could be, be both like having here. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about you, man. Well, then again, you're more of a Kirito kind of guy, so... Yeah, I, I, I yeah, Gavin still, like, fucking talks on me for unironically liking uh, Futuro. <laughs> oh, come on, man. He is a, he, he is a dickhead. He's a, again, he is a better protagonist than, like, every other protagonist I've seen in, like, this type of, uh, genre. True. I mean, are I, you I will seeing be... how big all these other, pro all these other, like, harem protagonists are? Nah, man. Kirito has balls. Yeah, fucking Futaro. Oh my, oh my goodness. This, yeah. this is, this is the <laughs> guy. He has balls. He's like, he can tell a supermodel, like, eats key to fuck off. <laughs> Goggle. He's like, he's like, it's like, bitch, fuck up. I don't care how hot you are. Um, fuck off. I'm eating. I'm trying to study while eating lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's just from the first episode. And I was just like, you dickhead. You dickhead. But you know what? You know what? You know what? As I grew to watch the show more, you know what? Kirito is not so bad. I can see what I can see why my co-host likes Kirito. <laughs> but unfortunately. Um, we had to be objective with Kirito cars and just go, man. So, sorry, sorry, sorry. Your, 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 your carpool is ass. <laughs> your carpool is complete ass. Unplayable even in limited, man. <laughs> Alright, well. Alright, well, let's move on to the next guy. Sure, we've we read enough about each guy from the show here. <laughs> the Queen Chess Central Queen Top with Nosuba Nakamo. Level 00 cost 1500 power. Rank at 3 copies. She is a tap self search brainstorm with an additional ability of act. Uh, pay one stock, discard one, climb from your hand to the waiting room, two, choose a card in your clock, any card, climb masses and events included, add it to your hand, put the top card of your deck to your clock, choose one of your characters, and it gets 500 power until the end of the turn. Yes, have a check. That's my check. I mean, like, I just go, man, this brainstorm is stacked. Yeah, no, like, oh. this is one of the best brainstorms I've seen, like, ever. How, like, this rivals Brainstorm 5, please? Yeah, like, okay, like, cool. I hit some stuff off of Brainstorm, I'll search. Search Brainstorm, wait, no, you already, you guys already know. We here at Doggo Car Reviews love our search Brainstorms more than our salvage Brainstorms. <laughs> man, I, man, I'm addicted to tutoring Brainstorms, thanks to you. <laughs> oh, Action that's, that's thanks to me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Action no, no. Action no, no. So I made the... So I was on the fence, like, if you had asked me this point last year, I'd be like, eh, I'm on the, I'm on the fence. I can go either way. After Albuta, I'm just like, yo, dog, I'm addicted to tutoring brainstorms. I can't play without them, pretty much. <laughs> right, right. Salvage, ew. I mean, like, last report. Like, you know, a, a very good example would be like, you know, like, Love Last Sunshine. You could pick between Taisho Roman, Yo, or a self-tap search brainstorm for your Shawrun members, or you stick with My My Tonight, Yo, for a global Type self salvage brainstorm. I give me the tutoring store, man. I know, give right? me the every <laughs> but, but fucking anyway. you know, you know, and also the tutoring brainstorm also gives a gives a K every for every fucking hit. So yeah, uh, freaking on you. <laughs> it could matter. It could it could matter. Uh, cough, funny girl, chica, cough. Right, right. But anyway, back to Yasuba here. My oh. God, that sec that that first ability, like. Oh shit, I have excess climates in hand, I can not draw my now school cam Yosuba? Hello! <laughs> I got Yosuba. stock I got I got stock to spare. Get this get this excess pants out of my hand. We can this we can this we get some car out of the clock here. <laughs> like I said, Yotsuba check. Yotsuba check? So, I mean it, 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 the reason why I call it Yotsuba check is because number one, it's Yotsuba and two, that's like the most memorable scene of Yotsuba from the anime. So, get to the yeah, check. Yeah. Now, now this ability, most people be like, 
ill. It's it's a clock swap. And I'm like, bruh, it's, bruh. It's, it's an on-demand handout for anything in your clock. <laughs> I mean, you're probably going to disagree with me on this one, but in this deck, I can treat my clock as my second hand. No, I, I, I will not disagree with you on this. Remember, I play I play fucking I play fucking Dragon Eva. I know what the, I know what having the clock as my second hand is like. I'm just like, oh, I have a spare climax. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Is there anything in this clock I want? Yes, you. Like, pay one yoink. Like, oh my goodness, this is this is this, this, this like as we're, as Gavin said, this is a stacked brainstorm. <laughs> I don't see how people play the Nino brainstorm. I really don't. I mean, it's only, I mean, maybe people, maybe people really like the Momentum Gang? I mean... I, I would think, I would argue you're gonna be picking Nino over this one. You're playing it for the Momentum Gang, not for the Salvage. The Momentum Game? I don't know, man. Or you're, or you're on a budget or something. Actually, no, even budget Always players. gonna like be people. like, aren't these about the same price? I think they're affordable. I think Yotsuba is actually cheaper by a dollar. So well, even the no. even, even, <laughs> like, even the like, budget like, like, even the like, budget like, okay, players okay, okay, are okay, there there is there is another real reason why I think people might play Nino. The waifu reason? No no no. Well I'm talking about for a companion a companion reason. Mm. If they're if they're lacking on reg for some red cards they're playing at level one and above. I'm trying to think of red cards that you would actually play. Uh they're clearly playing red cards that we're not playing. Is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Maybe if you're on Itsuki finisher, but even then, even then, just convert yourself. Just go with eight gates. Just go with eight gates, and I, even in even even in even Itsuki, I just go. Even if I'm playing mono eats, even if I'm playing the the level one level one and level three Itskis, I'd still play this. Like I'm trying, I'm trying to think here. Like, what red cards are possibly worth it? Right. That's why I'm gonna. That's not like again. That's why. That's why. I, that's why. That's why I still make the argument. I think in when I place the Nino brainstorm over this, it's choosing to play for that momentum booster. I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Unle unless your area is legitimately overrun by standby decks, I don't really see the the set really benefiting from the power. Like, I, 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 I feel, I feel like that's what people, I, I mean, again, I'm just trying to take away from the other person's perspective here. <laughs> I don't know, man. You play, you made a standby deck yourself. Like, uh, like, can you really think of a re like, again, I, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm just trying to say, like, maybe some people really, like, again, I'm pretty sure, like, someone has, someone's already working on a video that says, like, why momentum? Gaming, brainstorm, swipe, Nino, and fucking uh, the sisters from Charlotte are good. <laughs> uh, Yumi from Charlotte? Which, wait, or no, no. I thought I thought I was I thought it was uh, Misa and Yusa that were the brainstorm. They're the same girl. They're the oh, same. Oh, no, it's, oh, it's, it's only it's only Yusa that was the brainstorm. Yusa and Misa are literally the same person, just also the personality, man. Oh, shut up. <laughs> someone didn't want. Someone forgot Charlotte all of a sudden. I never watched it. Man. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, I see. I can't well, forget what I haven't watched before. Anyway, well, you ha you're not missing much. Anyways, Yotsuba. Oh my God, this card is amazing. Yeah, uh, but three copies because you shouldn't need, you shouldn't need that fourth bracer unless you desperately feel like you do. I mean, you rarely like like I don't know like it has to be. I brainstorm like once a turn, if if at all, man. Unless I'm like, holy shit, I just canceled like a shit ton, and I'm like, I've got like two in like thirty cards. <laughs> right, but you know, the chances of it happening are astronomically low. Well. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. And, and we here on Doggo Card Reviews are going, welp. You know, how should I say this? We don't discredit math, but at the same time, we go by combat scenarios. That's why we do things like the scrimmage series. Uh, now, if certain competitive people watch it, they'll be like, "What? What am I watching? <laughs> what is this meme?" But hey, uh, entertainment, right? <laughs> yep. It, oh yeah, it's quality entertainment. Anyways, let's go on to the next card. Okay. They put the center pit tablets. Itsuki Nakano. 
zero zero one k. So when this card when this card becomes reversed, if its battle opponent is level zero or lower, you may reverse that character. So yay bombs! Yay bombs! And when this is placed from the stage to the waiting room, you may pay the cost to pitch a card. If you do, check top four for a level one or higher. Add it to your hand and pitch the rest. Hashtag when in doubt. <laughs> mm. Yeah. What? It, I mean, I mean, man, you see me play this deck. What are seventy yeah. percent of my pluses? That's, that's more fucking good. <laughs> this was a book. What in fucking doubt? Grab also some guys. I mean, like. For real, like, this card has been nerfed multiple times. I'm just like, yo, yes. dog, I, I, I also saw it fucking is. Like, it's so powerful. Mm -hmm. First uh, off, it's... Now, a lot of people will question, why not play the event versions of these cards? I go, because it's not a creature. And the events themselves do not have things like this one. I mean, the hand fix is the event itself. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you, you know, you can't get rid of like excess bulk or excess climaxes from your hand using the bulk event version. Or excess dead cards. Right, right. Like, it, 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 it's one thing. It, it, it's one thing. Like, going. Now, Itsuki is a level zero. Like, she helps facilitate the tri field. Mm -hmm. Like,. You go Ichika, Yotsuba, Lit, and Itsuki, you just, and your opponent just goes, Welp. Oh, I'm facing a pretty aggressive tri field to begin with. Right. Man. Now, the, of course, the good thing about like newer profiles of this type, like Itsuki here, is they can't find another copy of themselves. <laughs> nope. Because and... uh, Bushiro thought that'd be a little too much at this point of the game. I mean, finding the level one and higher is perfectly fine by me. It it, it helps facil it warps your deck building a little bit. Right. But at the same time, ninety percent of the time I want to find a level one or higher anyway. Right. Because you know, I want preparing for you know, level one climax combo, preparing for level three, getting an early play, something like that. Right. Or find or fetching fetching a a response. Right. Like, oh man, uh, I'll be I'll be very excited in a few weeks. Let's just say that I'll be very excited. And this card makes me makes me a bit. This card talking about this card makes me excited for a few weeks from now. Just oh boy, just yeah, just. That's, that's but 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 at the same time, I go uh, four copies of Azusa. Like, okay, so it kind of brings me back. Like when I first played this game, I was like Azusa. Azusa seems like garbage. When I first played this game, I was like, why are people in droves about this card? Like, right, this card doesn't what's seem so, all that great. Right, what's so great about this? It's, 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 it's a low stat line. It, it, it takes a card out of my hands. You only have a limited selection of cards. What's so great about that? <laughs> and, the, and the, you know, I, I mean, Nisekoi didn't have Azusa. No, <laughs> dig it. <laughs> Can you imagine Nisako with Azusa? Oh, it would oh, be. Quite, it would be. It would be quite different. It will actually. Oh. It will. It will be able to fix one of its problems. <laughs> you'll be able to get to that easy free fresh quicker. <laughs> but you'll be whiffing more often thanks to those damn pendants. I mean, but that's fucking fine. <laughs> imagine pitching a card and you go two pendants a clock. Two pendants, two climaxes. Oh, okay. You whiffed, sir. But yeah, the one of the chances of that actually happening, astronomically low, probably. And at that point, you just go, you know what? I milled four for free. I I pitched one to mill four. I don't even I, care. I pitched an excess door in my head. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't. I don't give a fuck that I just whiffed completely. <laughs> You're this sickly. You don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, and so I first got exposed to this and tried Primus. Oh, oh dear god, I wanted to cream. <laughs> I mean, even oh like with that one, it was like color than big egg. <laughs> but you're playing like a 90% ish blue deck anyway, right? Yep. <laughs> 90 to 95%, man. Remember, this was before the bands. So you had like 
your only like actual non blue cards were Miria. Yeah, Miria, the counters, oh, and yeah, Sakai. Yeah, yeah, Mai, yeah, yeah, Mai, Mayu and uh, Sire. Sire. That's it. Those are the only <laughs> non blue cards. Nice. <laughs> yo, 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 man, it feels so powerful to, to, to pitch a pants for Kome. Dig four, find Kome. Oh lord, oh lord. Let's build some more. The fact that go I, 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 now, 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 I can buy low key, call, like, the, the car should have been a different character outside of the cool, cool pool. <laughs> Imagine it was yellow instead. Yo, yeah, okay, okay. Oh. Yeah, yeah yo, yo, need, yo, need more stuff in general. Let's be fair here. Yeah, imagine if it was yellow instead. I think Kome would be 100% fine if it was yellow. I'm about 100% fine. <laughs> but Come it, on, it, 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 it's at least 50% fine compared to that. <laughs> the f well, some of the problem with Kome was the fact that she was so easily fetchable. Holy. Part of it, but the real part is the fact that she's. I'm pretty sure most people agree. On play was the problem. Oh, come on. The on, play, the on, pl on play effectively no for. Oh, the end of the battlefield ability is not so bad, but literally, he literally. Says, he, he says this now as, as the car is, is slowly impending on its forbidden status. Oh, come on. It's not so bad. Well, it's balanced by the fact that Triaprimus does literally nothing. Literally, <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it just it just brings with glorified vanillas. I mean, can you really call Triprimus of anything but glorified vanillas? No. <laughs> <laughs> you, you modern <laughs> modern decks would just absolutely stamp Triprimus even at it even at its full power. Come on, man, you gotta admit that fucking, modern deck fucking would... fucking oof. Oh come on, man! Like, mo I'll, I'll I'll prove it on the next script. God damn it! I'll prove it. Oh, and modern decks can easily stamp her out. <sighs> but regardless, back to Itsuki here. Um, bruh, bruh. I recently saw a list that does, that plays zero Itsuki. Uh, 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 my head, my head, my head hurt. Like, okay, so something that some people might, you, some people, something that something that people need to be reminded of here. I, if I am not mistaken, this is the first time we see the bomb ability on this profile. Yeah. That's already <laughs> pretty good. That this can you... now automatically contest with most level zeros. You don't care about the bomb part, man. You care about the you bomb. You don't, but, but it's, it's the fact that this thing does. Like, you know, normally, these cards would just be simply, you know, side of level zero or run into something, right? Run into like a level one or whatever, right? Or it could be Kirito. Oh, 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 yes, oh yes, oh yes, convenient, convenient 3k on the end turn, sure. But you know, in general, like, these were mainly just 2,000 power profiles. Which it could destroy shit. Right, but at least this one's like, okay, I'll take the trade. <laughs> or allow for, or open up for a trade. <laughs> Or, okay, sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill you with, I'm gonna kill, I'm gonna bomb you with Eatsky. Clean cut this to the back row. Yep. Yeah. Or you think you got, part. and then eventually get her ability off on a later turn. <laughs> like, Two for what your opponent while like, being also awesome, Like this, 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 this is, this is a very useful card. More so like, than like other versions of this thing. I mean, like, come on, man, like, I, 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 I believe this is the. I believe this is the only red card that I was really excited for. Everything else is just like, what is this garbage? The only red card you're excited for. Uh, yes, yes. Only red card you're excited for. Oh, actually, the Itsuki level 3 wasn't that bad. Like, noticed, all the cards that I liked in red were all Itsuki. That should tell you something. Hold on, hold on. You sure you're gonna take that statement back before moving on to this next card? Oh no no no! Oh I no, I do take that statement back. Before moving on to this card. <laughs> I, I just remembered a very certain, uh, very certain card that we're about to talk about next. And it's like, oh shit! I, re I, re oh no! I was, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was like, 
Who, who are you and where are you going, Gavin? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's just do it. Operation Doppelganger, H. Cook, I'll come out. Lower zero is zero cost, 2,000 power. Containment, this card's name is Tree, and starts about Nakano on the stage because since we changed, we also vote. If this card is on your front row, Sanger Squad, this card gets an additional soul. And since it drops, starts, ran as a single copy. Oh, 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 that's why you're like, dude, take that statement back. It's both. It's. <laughs> it's it, cue the national Russian. The na the, cue the Soviet national anthem theme. Oh, be it. How many times? How many times have you seen me go? Uh, turn one, bow per row. Two, Swing two, for four. Two, two, Maggie, and I eat the four like eighty percent of the time or more. <laughs> and you're just like, I oh, it's like really, man, really bow per row. Like, really, turn, 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 turn one. I'm using free drops. We're just gonna swing at your face for four. <laughs> it works, doesn't does it? Doesn't it, it? Wor it works, and you know, you combine this with again shortcut each go. Oh my goodness! Have a repeated two soul beater in your face. Like, can, can, can I just go back five years and I'm playing this fucking girlfriend beta yellow again? <laughs> Wait, girlfriend beta yellow did this shit? No, it, so so there was a one zero Akane that says on play, mill a card. If that card is yellow, she gets one so until we end the turn. Oh, so basically, ETB mill one always gain plus one soul. Got it. Yes, <laughs> for the most part. I mean, some people did play like the Bossy build that played uh, four Kobe, yeah, four Kobe Lumiere combo, the one that says on reverse with door trigger, uh, pay to discard a card to burn opponent equal to X quiet messages in your waiting room. Why would I why would I play that? It's girlfriend Bale, what else did you really have? Pumpkin? Set one! Oh, oops. <laughs> blue 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 girl tricolor girlfriend Bale is not a game until set two. I don't know man. Actually no no, girlfriend ba actually no, I was around for girlfriend Bale set two, but like nobody mentioned it. Because by the time you came in, fucking Tri Primus was able to be Tri Primus was Tri Color Girlfriend Beta, but better. I mean The only thing that Tri Color Girlfriend Beta had over the deck over Tri Primus was honestly a better top end. <laughs> Cause you know, sometimes pumpkin burn five is not bad and you had and you were able to play enough cards to splash in like other things like a Musashi and then some. Man, remember when Musashis were good? I do remember when Musashis were good. Nowadays we're just like, yeah, Musashi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah um, in some titles, Musashi is a very powerful card. Fucking uh, Konkuli, right? <laughs> like, look, look, uh, look, 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 show it. Why do you even have this? <laughs> or, or hell, Love Life Sunshine. Why do we have a Musashi? Ill. Okay, okay. When she first came out, she wasn't that bad. No, but nowadays. Nowadays, oh. like we have space for this. No. Like, uh, go, go and play guilty kiss and burn eight times. I guess. I'd rather just play another Shino and Coco. <laughs> but I'd rather just not play guilty kiss. <laughs> go <Gordon. laughs> Um, I, I look at my real life deck and I just go, the amount of times I've played Bulbaro, yeah. <laughs> And, and like, this, this, like holy shit! Like we, like we are willing to go off color for this thing. Now, yes, you could argue, why not Miku drop searcher since three K? But, but hitting your opponent for <laughs> face is the place, man. Face. This is, this is the place. Smart on you. Smart on you. Smart on you. <laughs> I mean. My playstyle has definitely leaned more towards Smork in the past few years. Oh yeah, for sure. I don't know, I don't know man. Uh, I think you have PTSD from Bobro, don't you? You're getting hit by Bobro too many times. I always say PTSD is more of, oh, this, 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 this happened. Understandable. <laughs> I mean... You just, you, I mean, you played the original Bobro. I have played the original Bobro. And how good did she feel when you casted her? Well, she 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 comes in handy every now and then. I probably didn't abuse her as much as you had with Ichika a year ago. 
you know, you know what's funny is my love for Ichika came from Bokuro. It's summoning Bokuro a ton. <laughs> oh yes, oh yes. Um, my my locals absolutely hate Bokuro. They're like, oh god, it's Bokuro. Uh, I I have died to that card too many times. Why the fuck does it have plus one soul? Why? Remember, guys, there's a reason why Kumio is for probably forever banned in Neo Standard. Oh, come on, dude. Junio would not even be that bad anymore. Guys, remember the fucking proxy Konkule using Junio at four copies? Sure. Bring it on, motherfucker. <laughs> Bring it on. Oh, shit. <laughs> I might as well actually buy Junio or something. I'll figure something out. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, oh, oh. But, anyways, so, Ichika. Bruh, this card is good. Like, what are you doing if you're not playing this? What are you doing? Like, the 3k... I played that profile at SAO. It doesn't feel that good. Like, if Asuna was Bulbaro, all, all, all <laughs> Easy. <laughs> oh, I, I, I might be willing to bump her up to two. But, In alas, that... alas, that's not the case. <laughs> I mean... Man, if Asuna did not exist... Oh, oh! You'd see be seeing Bulbaro at four copies. Oh boy! Oh, if she didn't exist, but you know, good, good, good thing she does, right? Yep. Because <laughs> hashtag when in doubt. Hashtag when in doubt. But at the same time, you just go, yeah. I mean, <laughs> now of course, the reason. So the reason why I like Bulbaro and not just some plus soul vanilla is because. She's both. Yeah, that just this utility on top of smork. Just pure smork is not that good. Yeah. There's like, a reason why girlfriend beta yellow is not really doing anything. I mean It has a bunch of oh, cards that just get sold for no reason. Only mad only madmen play can opener style decks. Right. And guess what? Most good players can handle the madman. Most good players can, but again, I do. I'm I'm someone who does love love the element of surprise because guess what? It adds another dynamic to the game. Oh yeah, definitely. Like you know, theoretically speaking, White Wars is quite the open game where you can do a lot of different things. It it, it is quite open, and the thing about it is, is that okay? Wow. Someone could know someone could know your list entirely. Yet, you don't... Someone could know your list like the back of their hand, and yet you have no idea what their list is because... Yes, you read through the card pool. You blanked out all the Soul Rush card. And guess what? You lost a set Soul Rush. Mm -hmm. That's right. Oh, this card's half. This card's also half. This card's garbage. Exactly. But... If you would, if you, if you had produced any other statement besides this card is ass or garbage or something to that effect, you might have actually beaten the guy but quite you easily. Know, you would have been able to figure out what the strategy was going on. Most people, it, I mean, I don't know about you, man, but when majority of people see anything that isn't meta, they kind they of freeze want, up. They kind of freeze up, and I just go, okay. Hence why I always ask people. What does your deck do? Because I'm curious. I'm curious in a lot of cases. Right. Of course, they probably won't tell you during the game. <laughs> of course not, but again, translation sheets spoil everything. Right, but you know, the rules do say you should only be presenting things that are relevant to the public board state. True. But I have seen people flip through sheets at high level comp. Which is technically not allowed. Ooh. I mean... Because nowhere in the rules does it say you are allowed to read the you know, this entire deck while playing a game. Now of, now, of course, majority of people don't even bother with the sheet. Right. Some, uh, <laughs> some regions be like, Ah, you don't need that. We'll just pretend we're using them. No, 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 no. Most people... Even if you have the sheets, most people just tell you what the cards do, honestly, man. Oh, okay. Like... Yeah. Oh, I've seen this a high level comp, dude. Like, oh, no, I'm oh, so sorry. Uh, right. Quick, 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 quick little story here. People have. I, I've had people who, like, think the current pie is Omega real. 
So when I use a, wait, so I was playing like an old, you know, I was playing like, you know, it's like big 20 chance I'm playing a, I'm playing a model good deck. Homer a brainstorm. Hit. Search. Hold on. I don't believe your brainstorm searches. What? Because it's green, therefore it must be a quark swap brainstorm. No? <laughs> um... So I, like, I was, so was going to be like, fine, here is the translation sheet for the card. This is from Heart of the Cards itself. Uh... That was like man. one of the only times I had to present a translation sheet with someone doubting my brainstorm was an actual search brainstorm. I'm, su I'm surprised they didn't call Judge. But... Um, you should tell them that Bushy Road pretty much under operates under the Phyrexian color pie. Phyrexian color pie? Oh no. <laughs> you know exactly what I'm talking about, sir. That's why I say, oh, that's why I say, oh no. A Phyrexian color pie. Phyrexian color pie, sweet. Can you, can you deny it? Unfortunately, not really. It's the Phyrexian color pie. It's like, wait a minute. Wait, what? What do you mean, Phyrexian color pie? Hello? Hello? Oh, but yeah, but, but yeah, but yeah, um... Dude, I faced off against the Ili- Even the Iliana group will tell you what their cards do. Like, I mean, and you know the Iliana group. Yep, definitely. Fighting them is like going to the gym. Oh yeah, definitely. Same with the Cal- same with SoCal. You've interacted with both groups. They're also pretty sweaty, mm -hmm. huh? Especially the especially the players that do go to the event. Oh, definitely. But yeah, um, Ichika, bra, bra, bra. Bra, yep, bra is right. She produces a lot of bra moments. Mm -hmm. All right, Alrighty, next. <sighs> After a bath, Nino Nakano, zero zero five hundred. If you have another quintuple character, she is three k. At the beginning of your, your opponent's attack phase, you must you may move this to center slot. Normally, we dog, no pun intended, on runners, <laughs> and but this one is quite the exception. Like when you use this in combination with shortcut Ishka, my goodness. <laughs> welcome back, Kaiden. Mhm. Mm welcome back, Kaiden, indeed. <laughs> and no, we're not referring to Kaiden as a gal. We're referring to the. Takagaki. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I know my pub master when I see her. My 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 drinking pub master. I mean, she's played by Saori, so yeah. Yeah. That woman has some talent, all right. Some some people believe I like Kage only because of the Seiyu, which is incorrect. <laughs> Hey man, that 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 woman I swear, that woman's veins are full are, are full of liquor. Oh, definitely. <laughs> like, goddamn, she she doesn't bleed blood, she bleeds fucking liquor. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Anyway, Kage but, aside, um Um he, he knows, yeah. he knows pretty good. Bruh, she hits your ass thirty five hundred runner, let's fucking go. She's a I mean, okay, most people are, most people, some people be like, but bro, it only runs the center slot. So? What's wrong with that? Like, mean, yes, you can play around it, but what is that really doing? That forces awkward plays. Like, okay, I'll just, I'll just short, I'll just, uh, like, I could put I something, just... I could put something in that front slot, like, you know, I could put Itsuki into that front row center slot, bomb the card right there. And then open the, the spot up for Nigo anyway. <laughs> like, this is, like, honestly, I prefer center slot over, say, front right. A certain Konkole card. No. <laughs> you know exactly which one I'm talking about. Yes, I a know. red, a like, red runner. Yeah, like, a Kitsu Shima. Mm -hmm. Like, I Because having here, we'll, we'll forget, like, 98% of bulk girl games. Hey, man, I don't speak ships. I don't speak ships. I know the notable ones, that's about it. Apparently Akitsushima is not one of them. <laughs> nope. I mean, hell, she's not my favorite boat, definitely not. <laughs> my favorite boat is Kashima. There you go, people. Feel, Excuse feel, me? Feel free to dog on his chicken. 
Ex excuse I'm me? I'm I mean, I'm I'm I mean, I'm I'm I mean, I'm 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 that's I'm sexy. I'm mm. I'm that I mean, it, it's just some, some, that many, voice. Is so... Many, many people on my ride were like, "Cut him off." Yeah, that sexy voice, man. Oof, what speaks volumes. But anyways, Nino. Ah, uh, why did it have to be Nino? Why? <laughs> why did it have to be Nino? You would just say that for like any good card that Nino is on. Why did it have to be Nino? <laughs> Pretty much, like. <laughs> Bad, bad, bad. I, I guess we have kind of established here on a preview on a, preview, on a set review episode. Where we gather here to strike girls who could cook. Apparently so. <laughs> I mean, I don't like a certain bunny girl. I honestly think the dreaming girl makes a better bunny girl. And a better... <laughs> looks better in the bunny girl outfit. And Nina... I mean, come on, man. She poisons your boy. She poisons your boy. That was a true poison. He didn't, he didn't have to go to the hospital, but if anyone poisoned the boy, it was fucking Nico. Oh, come on, man. You saw that episode. I, I did, but I was like... Nico poisoned that fool more than Nico ever did. Oh, god damn you. <laughs> but she, she, okay, she knocked out your boy, man. She knocked out your boy. <laughs> uh, but seriously, though, uh, word of wise to people who play this card, uh, make sure you have something in the background. Yeah. Some, sometimes, sure. sometimes you ask your employees and you're like, it's only fucking power, shit. <laughs> uh, and a 500 power runner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, understandable. <laughs> but preferably, you'll see the check brainstorm. There you go. <laughs> but the amount of times I've put Oz's son back, you just go, Man, this man would go okay, under <laughs> Hey, I have no, I have no other level zeros, man. All right. So that's so, 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 so what happens. And, and and you know what? This is one of the few times where I'm just like, I'll actually advocate for the runner, because I haven't played runners for like two years now before Nino. Like Jesus Christ, it's been a while. I haven't played runners since the Vietnam War. Oh, <sighs> Playing her in modern combat, I'm just like. Uh, you know what? I'll give Nino the pass here. Alright. Just because. Yeah. Alright, and uh, speaking of Nino, we do have one more card here that we play for that. So, Operation Doppelganger, Nino Nakano. What was your story about Chiyos and Power? Just like each Gushi, it's true as Nosuma Nakano on the stage because she is masquerading as Nosuma here. What's this place we have on the stage? Surveil 1, and on play, Climax Swap. Yeah, and a single but... copy. You know, the climax swap is pretty useful. Oh yeah, definitely. And dat surveil. Dat surveil. <laughs> Apparently surveil is free. Hey, you see that climax you actually won it this whole time, but it's not your way with what's fucking go. <laughs> fucking go. You know, for this particular instance, I like the surveil better than the scribe. I can see why. <laughs> hey, let's Hey, look. I have a choice in my hand, and I have, an, and I have a spare stock. Okay, Nino, go. Surveils. Sees pants. Understandable. Let's fucking go, boys. I mean, that that just that just makes Nino so good. Like, holy. Like, I don't see a lot of lists playing this card. I just go, why? Like, do y'all really believe you will get your prime message that easily? Yeah, man, man, what kind, what kind of luck, what kind of luck do you subscribe to? And where can I get some? I know, right? Where can I get some? Where can I get some of that? <laughs> Fucking facts. But, um... Neo's not bad as, a tr as an early game tri field, but I feel she's wasted. Like, she's, oh, one of those zeros you, she's one of those zeros that you want to play at, in the later stages of the game, honestly. Oh, definitely. Uh, but there you go. That's like any climax nice swapper. Oh, thank god it's on a level 2. Oh... Uh, cry, 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 sing diva. <laughs> Uh, sorry, man, but you're from the Vietnam era. <laughs> but you know, uh, um, era, era jokes aside, I just go, um, man, we live in modern times, and we modern times. Time modern times. Uh, I mean, we we both got on this. We've both on occasions on record have gone this fucking game, this fucking game. This fucking oh. game. 
I mean, come on, man. You can't deny this fucking game. Oh, it grinds your gear sometimes. Oh, yeah, definitely. But hey, we like the game uh, overall. Oh, yeah, of course. That's why we continue to do the content. Of course, of course. All right. All right, let's move on to level one, shall we? Yep. So, level one, we have 12 character, well, 12 characters and events and four coin boxes. <laughs> Alright, we will begin with Nakano again. Gavin, take it away. Shining Smile, Yotsuba Nakano, 1045. She's a tablet and ribbon. That ribbon, I swear. That ribbon. During your turn, if you have two or more of the guys, this game's 2000 and she she is JC, yo. JC. Denying reversals is good or preventing a character from just being a wooden rigging that's not herself is also good. Yo, dog. am I the only one who, who values this as a 6-5 attacker more than JC? That's sad. That is oh. very sad. <laughs> what do you mean? 6-5 attacker, more king juice. Oh my goodness, Gavin, what do we do with you? Uh, 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 well, it's this set, man. It's this set. It's this set. Like, um... We, we were looking through the set, we are just like, Yo, dog. what do we do put it as... as Dang, as number one attackers? Line. Oh, I guess, I guess, I guess we got JC here. Man, is JC literally our best option? Do you want to play like that RNG Miku card? No. Okay, guys. So JC it is, I guess. <laughs> JC. But yes, yeah, so there is there is a bit of an RNG Miku card. You know, I'll play. You mill two. If there's a climax, you pay the cost of fiction a card from your hand to salvage. That card's. That car was okay when I looked at it. When we looked at it, I was just like, "The dog is JC." JC, uh, let's, J let's, let's, let's play fucking JC. <laughs> she, she, it, it only costs a few bucks for, per copy. She's like two dollars, dude. Holy <laughs> shit! Only two dollars. That's a fucking steal. This set had, this set literally went from like five hundred dollars for a play set down to like three hundred. Bro. I like how the hype died quickly. <laughs> that's because it's everywhere in Japan right now. Like there's that. Yep. I think I get people like over purchase this set. Oh yeah, so many people tried to flip this set. I'm just like, bro, if you didn't flip this within like day one, if you didn't day one sell sell off your product, you lost money. You hella lost. You hella necked. Like, oh my god. You know what? I don't feel bad for the flippers either, because I'm just like, you took the risk, you lost. But that's how, that, I mean, that's how investments work in general, right? Exactly. You don't always win. Yep. So, and you know what? And you know what? Not even the casino industry acknowledge, even the casino, even the casino industry acknowledges, yeah, sometimes we will lose. Mm -hmm. But in the end, the house always wins. Yes, you are favored to win. That does not necessarily mean you will win. Right. Now, bruh, I, I, no, I'm telling you this as my co-host, bruh, buy this set. You'll, like, it's oozing with flavor and it's good. Ah, uh, you, the, the, the bait is strong. I have to be very careful of how I use my money here. <laughs> come on, man. Come on, man. This, come on, man. You won't uh, regret the purchase. Uh, it's that good. I'm not going to spare $300 to build this right now. <laughs> it's not, it, just buy the deck itself, like, the deck itself is like 200. Only Not two, two. only 200, no. Gavin, after I made some recent major purchases. <laughs> no, well, I mean, I blew 250 on this deck, Dave. Yeah, and this deck, deck is... Yeah, he did. I mean, I... <laughs> While Ace Ocean with Flavor is not, like, I, I don't know, I'm not saying I don't dislike playing it, but I don't see myself playing it that often. <laughs> in, in, in the real. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, hell, well, then again, you see, you see, we don't have like this thing called a local tournament to go to, so. Sure. Yeah, yeah, true. I mean, you see my enthusiasm playing this set, though. Yeah, Gab Gavin I loves playing his morning Let's be, let's be, let's get that out of the way. <laughs> it's like, ooh, this deck is so much fun, you know. Yeah, there's a reason why I would rather play Psychono over SEO Tens. <laughs> and Gavin goes to be like, what the fuck? Why? I mean... Why? <laughs> um, this is a more fun version of SAO 10. Much more fun version of SAO 10, <laughs> if you ask me. I, like, I, I, oh. won't, I won't deny that, but, you know... 
overall, I don't see myself wanting to make that purchase <laughs> at the moment. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, maybe, no, maybe, I mean, maybe we're going like, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I mean, when the next WGP season comes up, man, here's a viable pick. Uh, you can finally, you can finally, you can finally get yourself out of the slinking shower on clothes, man. Really, you man? But you guess we calling it fuck you. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You can find. You can finally get yourself out of the. You can finally get yourself out of needing that reversal level one with a five five. <laughs> you can you can you can wear you can wear a suit that doesn't require reversal. Not wrong, but hey, I'll, I'll, I'll see myself. Alrighty, alright, but yeah, Yotsubo is like, a good is a good pretty, card. Pretty good, life. pretty good. Bigger, bigger guy also can help you dodge asking reversals. Like said, funny girl, Chica. Mm -hmm. <sighs> you know what? When I first looked at this card, I was like, "Ill, ill, JC that doesn't go to exile, ill." Why would I do that? Then you were like, you know what? A reusable JC is fine too. You know what? I looked at the set. You know what? JC seems like my best option. JC, let's make up. Let's make up, man. <laughs> Like I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for what I said to you, man. I didn't mean to be that. Also, Come back. Also, you guys always very cute here. You can't deny that art. I'd rather look at this thing over betrayal and uh, parting Utah any day of the week. Utah just stares at you. And, and she looks pissed, like visibly pissed. And Yotsuba's just like, "Hi guys." <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right. If there's any part that like, makes me pissed off at play, it's like, oh, it's Betrayal and Party Uta, because of how pissed off she looks. <laughs> I mean, majority of the art looks happy. Except Nino cards. Cough, cough. Wait, what Miku cards look happy except this next one here? The Queen Kensetsu Queen Top with Miku Nakamo. <laughs> Level 1, 0 cost, 4,000 power. Uh, so... Uh, guess she gets further power for each of your other Queen Topic characters. And Quimus come up with a card named Let's Be Fair that will pants trigger Quimus over on the right. It's placed onto your Quimus area and it sits on your front row. Uh, yep. <laughs> yep. And you have another Queen Topic character. Perform one of the following abilities. Choose one card game headphones in your waiting room and add it to your hand, or search your deck for up to one card game headphones, reveal it, add it to your hand, and shuffle your deck. And before we like continue talking about it, we do have to talk about what headphones is. Once you're a counter event, reveal the top card of your deck, choose one level X or lower quintuplet character in your waiting room, add it to your hand where X is the level of the card revealed this way. Climb Master's Archery as well as Zero, and you will leave the revealed card in its original position. All three of these cards are ranked at four play sets. So I heard you like. So I heard you like fetching Rickroll effect. Counter step Rickroll effect. And like other Goblin Slayer clones, she bulky. Yeah. Ish. Ish. Six, six, six K with full board, not too shabby. <laughs> And many people will dog on this combo, saying, "Ill headphones is not that good." My God, Ill. this is this, this card ass. <laughs> Just play bar combo, guys. I'm just like. So that's a good eagle. No, I really have to love like how both this card and the H Y R version like they go with me so we're wearing headphones, nope. but 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 the trait is headphones. <laughs> That's because she's known for her signature headphones, man. Yes, definitely go for her signature, oops, signature headphones. Yep. <laughs> hey, man, there's a reason why we invented the phrase, when in doubt. You, you're very right. Thank, 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 thanks, headphones. <laughs> thanks, headphones. Um, when in doubt. Grab Ozzasuk, guys. <laughs> what do you mean, grab Ozzasuk? Yeah, that's not a problem. Unironic, we grab Ozzasuk. And pretty much every time. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, okay. So. And hey, guys. Okay, price, price triggers are not terrible. Hello. <laughs> pants triggers are definitely not terrible. Hell, most people are like ill pants triggers. Like, what the fuck? Would you prefer book triggers, sir? Oh, 
Would you prefer split 2k1? Ew? <laughs> Ew? There's, there's like a uh, certain q one in Ogre. <laughs> or... I mean, come on man. It's better than Stock Soul. Got him. It's better than Stock Soul. Like, Pants Trigger is the best blue trigger. By far. Yep. I agree. I mean, and this is coming from someone who plays a lot of triggers. A lot of people are like, ew, books? How do you- books are unplayable, man. How do you win with yourself? Ew, Tonka combo? What's wrong with both of you? <laughs> uh, Rio combo? The Rio, science bay? Rio combo, or any time we dare to go back to Gaia and Sunshine for some reason? <laughs> ew? ew? Dia combo. <laughs> Wait, Dia Combo is on book? That was a book. It was a book. Holy crap. It was a book. I could Wait, we're it. talking about tank we're talking about Tanga Combo, right? No 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 no. Gaia Gaia Shiro Oh okay. Oh okay. No, I I, I know K Bushi will ever make that on a past trigger. <laughs> what, Tango? No no not Tango, Shiro Uh let me see here. Original Shiro Hulk on a bounce. On a bounce. Daya is book. book Science Bay is book. Science Bay is book. Yeah, I don't think they'll ever make it on a pants trigger. Like, I mean, I wish you would count Gatoka as being similar to Shiroha. No. Okay. <laughs> Making sure here. <laughs> no. She doesn't. She doesn't grow to it. She doesn't grow to an obnoxiously large size on offense. And no, she, she kind of and she isn't that bulky on she isn't that bulky on defense. Like the the reason why you play Toka Toka is a compromise between needing 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 more than just the just the creature and the and the climax and giving and giving you the bulk. Like you don't need five you don't need seven pieces to assemble three three Toka. You need four. But you don't get as many of the benefits from from assembling those pieces. Right, you just get more of an immediate bulky attacker. <laughs> anyway, going bulky going attacker. Back, going back to Miku here. Um, she, 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 she good, yo. Yo dog, I heard you like playing True Draco. Yes, you will you will unironically be this this is basically um uh, what's her face? Majesty Maiden. Oh, <laughs> this is basically Majesty Maiden. What's okay. Here? So, okay, you're threatening to kill Miku here. In response, headphones. Reveals climax. Cry. Actually, no. In response, reveals climax. Cry. Uh, what if I'm down? When in doubt, when in doubt, grab my replacement and cancel. <laughs> Easy. Just, just say no. Nope. I mean, like. Of course, you'll hear us mention it in passing. Bar combo is playable, but at the same time I go, it's bar combo. It's bar combo, like, it's limited selection. I see how it dies on the defense. At least Miku stands a chance at living. Mm -hmm. Especially with this next card here. Sleep sleep medicine. You know, not gonna. 1025. Yeah, I hate girls that can cook, apparently. Uh, let's see here. During your opponent's turn, all the rest of your point gains a thousand. And tap this, choose one of your opponent's higher high level creatures. Creatures with a higher level than your opponent in the back row, and they do not untap during the during their controller's next untap step. So global one can be defense and it's anti standby. Let's go. <laughs> Let's fucking go for I mean of I mean I guess force a standby to make some tough decisions. So I heard. So I heard. So you're not standing by, standing by in rec roll anymore. No. Nope. Or you, you, you could, but you're gonna have like quite a few turns to or actually one. use her. Or one. <laughs> or one, but you know, like at that point, was it worth standbying in that card? Probably not. I mean, it's modern Weiss, man. <laughs> <laughs> Games but, last like four turns. <laughs> Okay, well, that's hey, that's more than buddy fight. Or that's modern. That's I got, modern. I got, I got modern became more of a turn five or six format because of some changes. 
No, Modern's like a th turn 3 4, man. I, modern, I got, modern I got, is, I got the unbanned in case the mind sculptor because the game got slower. They did. I mean, I mean, Cobblade is back in modern. You can play Cobblade again. And uh, what, what, what was that uh, gruel card that has Cascade? Uh, Bloodbraid Elf. Yeah, they they brought back Bloodbraid Elf because they said, like, oh yeah, the game got slower now. Yeah. <laughs> But again, again, uh, this was like, it was, it was just like, it was like, this is like a restriction change several years ago, so I don't know what happened at this point. The, the, mean, the, the fact that something like Oko happened, it, it... Or Oro? Or Oro? Oro, bro. Bro. I mean, Oro is explore on a 6-6 six -six body. So it seems. Like, jeez, Jesus fucking Christ, like, <laughs> wait, what? Okay, 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 imagine you cast an ex uh, Explore, and then you pay two additional mana for a 6-6 six -six creature. Nice. Wait, wait, uh, magic aside, uh, Nino is pretty good, y'all. Go, 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 where we go sleep on this card? <laughs> Most people are like, Nino sleep with us in Nino. That card does nothing. What? <laughs> Do y'all not have standby where you are? What what, what magical Christmas land do you live in? Can I, uh, where, can I, can where, I visit? Where, where, where is this mega with our standby? Can, can I come check it out? <laughs> Was there like a gentleman's agreement not to play standby? Like, I mean, this this helps freeze the current bookie man. Mm -hmm. like, oh, like, you don't want to deal with uh, Choo Choo Tonka? Okay. <laughs> Freeze stay, it. Stay, stay asleep, you motherfucker. <laughs> exactly. It's, and and hell, this helps buff buff Miku to a seven K, which is hard to kill. For more conventional decks. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, let's move on to level two, shall? We? Yep. There is only a pair of them. <laughs> Unexpected reaction. Miku Nakano at two copies. It's a two one twenty five hundred power. She is a 2500 uh, backup at level 2, and when you use the backup against card, you may pay the cost of 2 stock and sacrifice one of your characters on the stage to anti change one of your opponent's characters. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Welcome, welcome, welcome back, welcome back, Chitoge. Yes, welcome back, Chitoge. <laughs> I mean, can you. can you blame me? No, Chitoge was one of the earlier ones. It's good. It's a good card. Like, it gets you out of sticky situation. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, less and less decks are relying on said reversals at level 3, but... Man. But, you know, like, the effect is still an anti-change counter. It's still powerful in some matchups. Like, oh, you see, you're playing against Razor, you see blue-haired main rim. Oh ho 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 ho, we're not letting you get those markers. Nope. I mean... Ugh, though I kinda wish this was Smug Look Emilia instead, cost-wise. Oh, if only. But I don't think Bushiro will ever let this I, set have Smug Look Emilia. I don't think Bushiro wants to reprint that profile ever again, period. Why not? It's under-costed, overall. And a fucking bottom text. <laughs> I mean, bottom guys. I, like, I, don't, I, I just don't see Bushiro printing that specific cost for anti change, like, again, period. Or at least or at least give us the sack counter profile with with bottom deck. Like, um, they. I'm trying to remember if uh, Zuiho was a sack counter that did that, but I think she, like, clock you. She hits. She hits you instead of sacrifices. Uh, okay. Yeah, Zuiho so is shit, man. You know that. F. Oh come on, man. Zuiho is shit as a card. You know that. They were experimenting, okay? Huh? They always forget we're still experimenting with the profile. Fair, fair enough, fair enough. But at the same time, like it was, it, was, it was around that time when the Nico version of Anti Change was made. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> hey, to this day, that is still Love Lives only counter step measure against 
early play. Majority of people just say, fuck it. I'll let early plays run rampant. <laughs> Instead of giving you an extra chance to stalk. Yep. You know what? Fuck it. You can have your early play. Fuck it. You can have it. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. We'll get rid of it with something else. But at the, at the same time... Uh... You know what? Uh, Miku is still a good card. I, I, I won't deny it. She gets less use nowadays from me, but at the same time, man, she is really handy. Like, when you really need her, she is really handy. Definitely. But, you know, we act all go card reviews go by the book. By the, uh, Gorgshik of, expert to have something and not need it, then to need something and not have it. Exactly. And, you know what, and Miku is one of those cases where I'm just like, yeah, you know what, I'm, I I'm happy to have Miku. I'm happy to have her. I'm like, sure I may not use you every game, but it's a good game. I have you in case that ever comes up. <laughs> oh no, I'm facing Yukina. Holy shit. We could get me out of here. Basically. Uh, pray, 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 pray that Saya has not popped on the board, of course. Yeah, I was say, pray, uh, in before the machine device that column. They're like, understandable. I'll eat the Ooh. seven. <laughs> yep, I'm bending over. I'm bending over. <laughs> Speaking of Yukina... <laughs> yes, so it's time for the grand finale, level 3, 11 non coin masters and 4 coin masters. Never ending ringing feelings, each cut, not gonna. 3, 2, 10k. Oh, well this is just the battlefield, look at the top 3 cards of your deck, and one among them, pitch the rest. Climax combo. When a card named Sudden Appearance is in your Climax area, and you have two or more other quintuplets, you may pay the cost of pay pay one, ditch a creature from your hand. You may you may pay the cost. If you do, this card gains the following ability until end. This ability activates up to twice per turn. When this card's damage is cancelled, you may deal two damage to your opponent. Once per turn. I don't know how I miss that it's what happens when you're doing a thing at like one in the morning. <laughs> oh yes, you may deal your deal deal two damage to your opponent twice. Yes. I don't know I, how heard... I, I was like, that would be too OP. <laughs> oh holy. Oh this, this is already pretty OP. So, I heard y'all like you King of, but while it might be a more balanced, it also has a much higher chance of not getting cooked by things like that counter. <laughs> I heard you like getting nuked from orbit. Yep, like, okay, you're either taking her soul boosted three base soul, or you're taking two instances of two. Pick your poison. You're Take good. Care. You're, I, you cancel all of them. I hope you have fun dying to everything else. <laughs> Pretty much, like, this card hurts. Now, I can go off on a little bit of a tangent here. Fate. The Fate Stay Night Heaven's Feel Volume 2 reveals. Reveal, recently revealed a saber that has a very similar climax combo ability. The cost is pitch three cards instead to burn three twice. Mm -hmm. I told quite a different take. I told the guy who was ranting, "Bruh, are you insane? One of them closes games. Literally one. Yeah. One saber can close out games easily." Like because so Death Saber is also on a choice climax. Correct. And you're taking a single instance of grief, or you're gonna take two more. Which is absurd. Like, like it's really funny like what Bushio lets you do with like you know, we, we can kinda of tell that Bushio's experimenting with this kind of finisher now. You know, we have Ichika here. You know, she's gonna pay one ditch a character to gain that ability when the climax is placed. Saber was on attack, if I remember correctly? Yes. Yeah. Yes, on attack. Yeah. So, you know, you could possibly have triggered a choice trigger to get more cards in your hand to pay the cost. <laughs> and whereas, whereas with Ichigo, you have to have everything ready be right when you play the climax. <laughs> and, of course, this reminds me of a certain blonde wrong... Ah, uh, yes. So, if we go back to our... Oh, Buta deck discussion video. You will remember oh. that we actually graphically showed y'all the one that um, 
you know, got no look card that gives you that, uh, she's also a choice trigger, mini life. She, while not being quite burned too twice, she gives, she gives herself and her character a Musashi ability. Which is kind of it. Because that could be just two instances of one on your castle. <laughs> or it could be two instances of four. Right, but because of how very boring it is, they're like, oh, this could go in, this could go on your way. <laughs> but Ichika, oh, baby. You're in case you, so you go, two, meaning you don't get cooked by Kabug or uh, Fukashiro. <laughs> Who? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Guys, like, you need to stop messing dead GTO moves. <laughs> Who? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. We here on Dog Card Review uh, practice the sweat is always real. And GGO so, is not a sweat title. <laughs> not a title designed for the sweat. I'm like, um, Ichika here. Oh my god. You're scared of a single Ichika, aren't you, man? Like, she's just that powerful. The fact that it's going to be a single instance of three plus or two, or two instances of two. My goodness. Imagine seeing the triple. And you're just like... Oh. Uh, yes, officer. My hands are up. <laughs> yes, officer. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm just fucking dead here. Under fucking standable. Like, oh. I mean, how many times have you seen me do the triple? Too many. Too many. Oh, and the cost is affordable, too. The cost is very affordable. Yeah, I don't know how I don't know how people are like nine stock, ill expensive. Like no, you you actually could you you could easily get the amount of stock. I don't know, man. How many times have you seen me with with the requisite nine stock? Too often. Too often. Like it, it, it just goes to show you, like, bro, this cost is easy. Mm -hmm. Like, do you, like. Do you know how to play the game? <laughs> you know? Like, you know, what, what you could have done to make it harder is if they require you to have a full board of quintuple characters. That shit's easy too, man. That shit's it, easy. It is, but, you know, it's nowhere, but, you know, sometimes you could be stuck, right? True, but, but at the same time. Like, the fact that you can have three of these and that's it, and then do the thing. <laughs> Kaboom boom. Like, this is the reason why, this is the reason why this is the double or plus rarity people. <laughs> I mean, it deserves it. It's, it's that good. Say, like, yes, Saber looks like a more nerf version on paper, but hey, I would probably be scared of that card too. Yeah, I would be very scared of Saber. Like, yes, Saber, so Saber, Saber will indeed Excalibur me into oblivion. Saber plus two Musashis. Bye bye. Yeah, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> you're, 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 you're gonna be taking, you're gonna be taking three instances of three, or. A bunch of birds. Two, two instances of three and two Musashi birds. Have fun. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, you're at 3 0 and you didn't kill your opponent? Kiss your ass goodbye. Most likely. <laughs> you got, you got, uh, you got, you got maybe a 4% chance of survival. Or your anti burn. Or you have anti burn. Or you have anti burn and you didn't care about this match to begin with. <laughs> but at that point, it's like, how can your game not go at a time? Stairs, you're stairs, you're, stairs, you're, stairs, you're, stairs, stairs at Charlotte. No, you're Long Horizon. You're Long Horizon. Hey, man. What, hey, hap man. what happened to we here at Double Car Reviews talk only about this way is always real? I know, well. I mean. You, you, I, I'm afraid of fuck. I, I'm pretty sure she's lost a better chance than Long Horizon. Yes, but at the same time, I also like to talk about a certain Soul Sleeper a lot. Who I go, man, you have only seven instances of damage. Soul Sleeper laughs at you. He'll be living. Quite he'll be, easy. He'll be living. He, he is the anti burn. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bring everything you got. Why, Hi. Sure, Triple Yuka with the actual resources somehow. Uh, no, he still lives. <laughs> I took three damage from that. Oh, no, no. He'll take three, he'll take three damage. And cancel everything else. Understandable. And, and you are you are completely free of resources and you have a bunch of nine fives on the board. Congratulations. What show just crash into Phil just crash into you for game. <laughs> yes, exactly. But yeah, you heal Grey Dell, but then what? 
You're at three. You're at three zero. He'll trigger. He'll trigger a stock soul. And then he'll trigger. He'll trigger. He'll trigger exactly enough to kill you. Nice. All seven. And, and you'll All take. Seven. And you'll take it. <laughs> you'll you'll take everything because you have you can't money counter here. You have. You have what? Well, you're more like you're playing Yuki. Know? What 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 money counter? Your your but your only real counter is like. The afterglow one, but you need a full board of afterglow characters to activate it. So pretty much, you're fucked. He took three damage. You're screwed. He took like three damage, man. Like holy, I mean, he eats Nelson for breakfast. Got him. He eats literal Nelson for breakfast. Easy. Ooh. All right then. Uh, I, yeah, I mean, you can easily generate the resources for this because hey. How do y'all feel about early plays that go stock neutral and are actually a big sticky? <laughs> because that's pretty good. <laughs> the Queen can set so quick to open each could not come out. <sighs> Over 3, 2 cost 9,000 power. You have 2 or fewer requirements in your way room. She gets removal minus 1 in your hand. She gets power power for each of your other quick characters. And on play, gets one to heal the stock. So y'all remember that I will puck from uh, Razor of Roman Frozen Bonds. That's the start. But you, uh, debatably killed her. You know, you, you know I prefer looking at Ichiko over that fucking furball. <laughs> Understandable. Oh, come on, man. I mean, how many times have you seen me play this card? <laughs> how many? 70% of the time or so. And how many times you're just like, Oh man, I have to kick W into this card. Cause you're like 11k with full board, and you're like, I don't want to change that cause that's not fucking worth it. Fuck it, kick W it is. Yeah, I'll okay. let like this card do two damage to me every turn. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> you're just like, you know what? This is not even worth it. Like the you... fools already got stock neutral. Like what? <laughs> Imagine people having early friends already going stock neutral on on. on I'll get turn you play this thing. And it's an 11k body. I'm like, I'm like Aqua. I'm just like, um... Like, sure, okay, sure. Aqua has the easier early play condition, debatably. Yeah, but at the same time... Two or fewer is it's... still not hard. I don't know why people think this is an ass early play condition sometimes. Most people think two or less is unplayable. Excuse me? What, what what kind of standards do you have? They think Kaede is a good early play. Oh boy. Oh, oh, uh, I, I, I'll be, um, I, I'll be ready to tear, I'll be, I'll be ready in a few weeks. Be ready in a few weeks for that one, man. Oh yeah. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh my god. Like, they're like, four, four more is the only playable condition. Like, did you guys not play in 2015, 2016? Like, when did y'all start this game? Like, for real? Like, hey, some I don't have been playing for longer than even I have been. Uh, and I'm pretty fucking spoiled. Yeah, Where's Gavin, my Gavin, where... Gavin here is pretty fucking spoiled. He will sometimes just ask the question, Where's Yun Yun? Yeah, where's my Yun Yun? Where's my certain girl in a black dress? <laughs> Oh, come on, man. They have not reprinted her, ever. There's a reason why they're not doing that. Why not? There's no boots here. Oh, that's the same. I can't blend. <laughs> oh, we... Come on, Bushy, come on. Bushy, Bushy, Bushy Rocks, fuck. They don't want to have to give a second and get to Gary Boss. But at the same time... Man, people don't respond to Ichika anyways. They just fucking ignore her. Like, Bushi wants oh. to give people a chance to respond, whereas, you know, Tresden Puss Richard says, no. <laughs> but at the same time, man, you've already admitted yourself, you're just like, response, hell no. Like, like each could, each could just say, you could. Should you is the different question. <laughs> man, I've had people put on that opposition by the shield, each cut. I'm like, okay, oh, sure. They're like, hell I'm gonna cast Opposition by the Shield. Like, uh, oh, okay, you, okay. You, you know what that card does. Yeah, I do, I do, I do. And you know exactly what set it's from, too. Oh, yeah, definitely. 
I, I was just, I was surprised. I was like, okay, damn, he plays opposition by the shield. I was like, no wonder. So a little bit of a little bit of a tangent here. I was, I played this for the first time at locals two weeks ago, and the guy was all like, the guy was playing sound. You know, we were the losers bracket. Uh, we were both zero and two at the time, so. He's playing Bunny Girl Yun Yun combo from Sao Tenthani. We made it to level two, you know, and he he played opposition by the shield. I was like, that's a good card. Uh, you know what? I, I'm gonna. He money countered this. I was like, holy. The problem is uh, finding space for a green. <laughs> well, it's not finding. It, it's not only that, but I was just like, he money countered two damage. Okay, like I can understand money countering the finisher, but the early play, like she doesn't do much. Like, are you about to die, Kyogus? No, he's mid level two. They, I mean, was he trying to pay a bunch of climaxes? Mm, I think one. Well, that might that might be one. <laughs> Again, but if, if it's before, it's before, one climax. If it's, if it's before. I think he's low. I think he was low on deck. If I remember correctly, I think he was so, kind of so, low on deck. So I, I think the reason was just simply, yeah, I'm paying like, also anti damage here because I can. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm more surprised he played temp A and found the space for green. I know. Well, I, mean, I guess you kind of do because you play Yuki brainstorm. But at the same time, each cut is amazing. Like holy. Like, Puck is the reason to play green. Yeah. Puck is the reason to play green. Like, majority of, of ReZero decks, like, will include Puck, because Puck is an amazing card. And they decide to bring this thing into Gotobu, because, hey, why the fuck no? This could be a new Kong. <laughs> Where's my invincibility? Where's my invincibility? Come on, man. No, 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 no. I'm, I am spoiled. <laughs> and let's uh, stop the conversation, dude. Huh? Let's stop right there. Let's stop right there. Oh, come on, man. In, an invincible Ichiko wouldn't be that big of a problem, would she? Oh, you'd be surprised. Anyway, let's, let's move on to some more. Level. Oh, yeah. Uh, Fall play set because this card is too fucking good. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, like, come on, man. Alright, moving along. While leaving school, Ichika Nakano, 3 2, 10k. When she enters the battlefield, she's a Doug Trio. Mm -hmm. And when she attacks, you may pay one discard a card to give all of your guys 500 and a soul. Commanding Strength, Asuna is back, y'all, and hogger than ever. Yep. She has Kanahana's voice instead. <laughs> instead of, uh, I forget the woman's name, but she's also really popular. Woman who does Asuna. I'm not oh, you can... Huh? I'm not gonna look it up right now. <laughs> okay. And you can see Yotsuba in the background. Yes, right there. Right there. I like that screenshot. I like <laughs> that screenshot. It, hey, man. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's a heartwarming scene. And... Hey, look. It's... Hey, look. The Doug Trio effect. Doug Trio is not off heel. But hey, too many... we, 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 we... We got Queen Chen Central Queen Top with each go for healing. I think we have too many diglets, man. We have too many diglets in this deck. Well, four diglet, one Dutrio. True. <laughs> but the diglet is also a finisher, so... True. <laughs> this card is good. This card is like, very good. Like, some, sometimes you're like, okay, I can't draw my third copy of Never Ending Ring of Feelings Ichika. That's fine. Two of them Command and this motherfucking card. <laughs> and commanding strength. That's plenty. <laughs> it's like, wait a second, commanding strength? Yeah, it's commanding strength. So now you're going to be swinging for four instances of four, or your opponent's going to be eating, you know, maybe your opponent can cancel, can, can cancel all three instances of four base, but you're going to be eating eight across four instances. <laughs> or you can side them for precise. Or got like, hey, there's a level three. You're at three six. I'm a four so Side for one. 
imagine, imagine if your opponent's a three six and you're and you have two two that each can finish her this. Like oh. okay, right here. You can side. Or you cancel, call. Okay. Never ending bringing feelings each color side. One, you cancel, take the two twice. <laughs> oh they're probably just dead. <laughs> <laughs> they're probably just like, dead, yeah. Oh, and the Dug Trio effect. I like it. It helps. It helps his additional deck. Okay, hey, you, you, you haven't found that. You haven't found that sucking. You haven't found that uh, sucking approach. There you go. You got. You got. Okay, five more chances. <laughs> Man, I, I, but though I haven't really had a game. I can't find the climax. Huh? Probably happy but, eventually, right? First time for everything. Yeah, first time for everything. <laughs> You know, it's these. This is one of those examples of I'd rather have it than not. Oh yeah, definitely. Hey, hey right? commanding strength. When was the last time y'all seen that? Hey man, hey man. Even I recognize commanding strength. Yeah, but at the same time, like how many were made in between her and this card? You know, I you can't think of that many. Clogging our aquarium by Yoshiko. <laughs> That's a well, I guess, but. Does anyone actually know people do still play that card? Because it's like, I'll play Bounce. <laughs> Speaking of Bounce... Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> Jersey, look, Yosuba Nakamo. Level grade 2 costs 9500 power. When she is placed from your hand onto the stage, draw one card, discard one card from your hand to the living room, choose up to one of your opponent's characters and play it to their hand. And Ogo, at the beginning of your opponent's attack phase, you may pay a cost of discarding a card mask from your hand to the living room. If you do, choose one of your other quintuple characters and discard, switch their positions, stand them, and that quintuple character you chose gets 1000 power until the end of the turn. This will be read as a single team as well. You know, I love the scene I love the scene they screenshot of this from, proving that Yotsuba is the most athletic. Well, yeah. <laughs> and Miku has like zero stamina. That's true. Oh. She gets exhausted. Well, again, it's like most people like go out. Oh. She doesn't go out that often. Let's just say that. I was just like, you can blame the boobs. I'm like, no, they all have the same boobs. Yeah. So they, they actually have the same boob size. It's just that maybe it look, maybe sticks out a little more on Miku because of how she dresses. I, I guess. But at the same time, you're stupid. They're, it's like you can't even use their body as an excuse. You can like, They have very similar body builds. Like, there's a reason why Operation Doppelganger did what it did. It didn't work for Kito. He he tried. He tried. But he failed. The teacher was like, "Oh hell no! Like, oh are hell you, no! Are man. you are you funny?" <laughs> the other girl. Hey, the girls got away with it. Even though they have different hairstyles. Yep. Like oh. Uh, like, it's oh, each, 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 each cut's hair is a little shorter than, you know, I don't know, it's still Yasuma. Yeah, go right in. Oh, Nigo's hair is like, in like more of a Hime cut and longer. Ah, oh, no, you're still good. Get, get your ass in here. Miku, Miku, the Miku, 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 you're wearing some headphones. Oh, no, 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 you, you still good. You're still good. Each game, yeah, oh, no, no, you, you, you're very good. You're very good. <laughs> Kitty toe. Um, go, 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 Hold the fuck up! <laughs> What's funny is they still let Kirito take his midterms. Yeah, I was like, did this guy actually get fucked? Nah, he just, he just got a little bit of a scolding. Oof. <laughs> they, probably, uh, they, but... probably, they probably let him get, like, they, they probably did because they, like, you know what, we'll, we'll give you a chance. You clearly have proven you could perform well previously. And he gets perfect on his midterms again. Love like, that. Like the boss. <laughs> But well, again, in, in terms of academia, Kirito is a Gary Stu, so... Actually, yes. I will not deny that part. He's a Gary Stu, but at the same time, according to my co-host here, he is the reason to watch the show. Yes, un unironically. Like, yes, the, the girls are cute in their own way in every game, but I really think there's no show without him. <laughs> oh, come on. Can you imagine just watching a show of these five? I will probably lose brain cells. You you slog through Gochiusa, man. That's fine. You enjoy you, you enjoy with a cup of coffee. 
<laughs> you slogged through Gochi Usa, which, which which has two of the same voice VAs. Literally. It does. Kokoa is literally Yotsuba, man. Kokoa doesn't make me much brain cells. Are you sure, man? She okay, runs okay, in the world. Okay, okay, and okay, all... occasionally she makes me much brain cells. But she's, she's adorable nonetheless. And Yotsuba isn't? Yotsuba's also adorable. But Yotsuba would definitely make me lose brain cells. She actually made me lose brain cells. <laughs> but um, again, the one who really made me lose brain cells the most was originally Ichika. <laughs> Get Gavin here remembers when I was like talking about when I was like reading I was like literally like reading girls based on how I perceived their IQ to be. <laughs> Let's see here. I believe well, Yotsuba would definitely be towards the bottom then. Yes, yeah, so Yotsuba's definitely towards the bottom because of IQ. I believe the one with the best IQ is actually Itsuki. Oh, doll. <laughs> it's Itsuki, who actually tries. <laughs> but, I mean... She, she, like, she's, like, just, she's just terribly, she's just bad at social skills. Like, if everyone's like, like, you, you, like, okay, you, it looks like you would think Miku would be the worst at social skills, but my gosh, Itsuki is on a whole other level. It <laughs> takes the fucking cake. Speak, speaking, speaking of Itsuki. Awkward atmosphere. Itsuki, not gonna. By the way, we didn't even talk about the car in Lamao. Wait, the for car's me. For Yotsuba. We, we did, um, are we sure? Are we no. sure? <laughs> we did have a good card uh, we played it specifically for the first sentence, guys. Draw one, ditch one, bounce. Pretty fucking good. The uh, good switch probably won't come up, but no, I, I, it's very good. I, but it might come in handy every now and again, right? First time, yeah, as, as we say, first time for everything. Yeah, I need to pitch a climax right before we refresh. Yep, there you go. And, and, and move gets around to to make things more perfect. Right now. <laughs> also, wait a minute. Also, isn't this the Yotsuba check scene? I can't remember. No, Yotsuba check. No, Yotsuba check scene happening at the home. Oh. Okay. There's really a car called Yotsuba check. Oh. And, 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 and you see Yotsuba holding her ear at Futuro's heart. Oh. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Alrighty. Next. Awkward atmosphere. Itsuki Naka. Hey, look! It's the first episode. Yes, it is. Come on, come on, Kirito, you had your fucking chance. Come on, man. But Why didn't you fuck There would be an anime if he did that, right? <laughs> Three, two, ten, ten. Discard also some. Uh, salvage something. Yeah, that's pretty. And when the sentence is battlefield, you may pay the cost if you do. Oh, pay the cost of what if you do? Choose a climax, salvage it. And discard a, discard a card, gain, give one of you guys two five. Okay. Easy one off because this can exchange your Ossesus that are usually limited in selection for any fucking thing you want in your waiting room. <sighs> and hey, gang, quite messes back. Could be handy. You see that young choice in the waiting room, but you don't have it yet? Let's fucking go. But Power back to the No? Unless you're playing against fucking Reinhardt, probably not. Even against fucking Reinhardt, you don't care. You, you would probably don't. <laughs> but hey, if you if you feel you cannot, if you feel you cannot, you feel you cannot guarantee the finish. Force the uncle through your fucking <laughs> Oh come on, man! In the majority of cases, you're just discarding cards to make your opponent pay three. <laughs> true, true. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> joke, jokes, uh, joke, jokes aside, easy single uh, ten here. And also. Come on, Kirito, you had your fucking chance. <clears throat> Again, if he actually took that chance, would, have, would there have been an enemy? No. Like, you, you know, you know, like that meme of ending anime, ending anime in the first episode, and it'll be uh, Futuro agrees to tutor Iski upon beating her <laughs> for her, for Gojo Boom. <laughs> it wouldn't have ended the anime instantly. You sure, man? <laughs> Give up the book for anime, he just simply agreed. A lot of the anime was really him bitching with this girl. <laughs> and and her being like, okay, I'll do it for Daiha, not your ass. Right. 
He's a little too for die hop. I mean, how he got her, how he got Itsuki's number. Hey, um, hey, if we exchange numbers, I'll give you die hop. Will like, Oh, uh, she's well. like, God fucking damn it. <laughs> she's like, God fucking damn it. Fine. Well, I'm doing it for I mean, her, not you. I mean, who do you think you got? Who do you think won that exchange? Can, can anyone truly win the exchange here? Uh, I would argue Kirito won the exchange. Yeah, for draw one. For draw one, that trade deal, yes. <laughs> yeah, I agree he won because... For draw one, he won it. I, I believe it was a dare from, I think, Yotsuba to get all the girls' numbers? Mm, shipping each cup. Or was it Ichika? I can't remember. It's, it's Ichika, because Ichika's like, you know, she's like the older sister type. She's like, you can get everyone's phone number. <laughs> I'll go to the tutoring session with you. Yeah, I think, yeah, that's why she was then. And Ichika, of course, gave hers first. Yeah, that's just like, here, here's a real Hesto. I think he got Miku's next. Then Yotsuba's. Then Yotsuba's. Then Itsuki. And then last, of course, was Nino. Right, and, and he always made a terrible blunder. But of a certain uh, past, he has not what you bring up. God damn! God damn it! Okay, then, oh boy, that that past that that past leads to some awkward scenes. Very awkward ones. But anyway, so this is from the first episode, and Itsuki's all like, "I'm transferring to the school." But, okay. Also, you're eating one expensive ass meal here. It's like 12 bucks, dude. To food trail, that's fucking expensive. To us IRL, it was like, that's a, that's a typical meal. <laughs> that's a typical meal. Right, we actually remember food trail left the struggle. And then he gets 5k for tutoring the, these supermodels? <laughs> Easiest money of his life. I mean... I mean, if you were paid 5k USD to tutor five supermodels. Oh, fuck yeah, let's go. You, you do it in a it fucking would, heartbeat. It would, it would probably be very fucking difficult, but... What do you mean? You see how uncooperative some of these five can be. You, no. you, have, you, you, have, you have one person who does care, but can't really seem to have information stick to her that well. You have one person who cares mainly about one subject. <laughs> Uh, you have a person who's like, I'll do that by fucking own, fuck you. You have a person who cares more about her career as a rising uh, actress more than anything. And you have someone who will do whatever they can to stop you. Until they realize, wait, until she realizes you actually need to stay around. I'll save your ass. And yet. These girls all try to marry him eventually. So it seems. They I mean, all they, they, try they, to. They, 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 like, they, they catch the guy, they like the guy. Yet they all wanted to essentially kill him first. I don't know about all of them. Okay, at least a few of them. I, I give us only Nino and Itsuki who wanted to see this guy go fuck out. Uh, each go. I've always said Ichika wanted him gone. Like, I, 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 Ichika, you know, she immediately realizes, oh, you know what? This guy can come in handy for my younger sisters here. Yosuba was very exciting because, you know, she's a fucking very fucking student. Oh, man. I, I, I can't believe Yosuba managed to pass one of the tests. Which one did she pass again? Uh. Let's see. Miku was history. Miku was, was English. Wait, Itsuki was English? It was not Nino? Oh, no, no. Nino was English, excuse me. Itsuki, I think, was science. So you're supposed to be math then, right? Or was that Ichika? Ichika passed math. Ichika passed math, so what does that mean? Japanese? Yeah, Japanese, there we go. Okay, yeah, she passed Japanese, there we go. <laughs> Kind of wrong, you know, and of course, Itsuki is, is played by the same woman who voices the following characters: Chino, Rem, Shoko Makinohara, 
and of course, eats you. <laughs> and she's also Brastia. There you go, people. Some, some, some say you trivia to close off this video. <laughs> I mean, Inori Minase has become one of my favorite videos. There you go. You heard it from him. <laughs> Though, who is Rem? Let's not. Anyway. Uh, so, but yeah, uh, thank you for listening to this tuning in into this actually quite long tech discussion of Goggle Card Reviews. And, uh, yeah, that was, that was something. But yep, yeah, um, again, you know, sorry if we did not like cover like alternatives in any real depth, but you know, as we said earlier, because of the nature of the progress encompassing this title, we really realize there's really, there's a really, really restricted card pool in which we can build a competitive deck from. Too much waifu trash, man. It's the short answer. But with that, everyone, thank you all for tuning in. And if you like what you saw, again, give that young thumbs up, leave that comment, especially if you really disagree with some of the stuff we say here, because we are pretty sure we have pushed some buttons throughout the way. And we will definitely do our best to respond to you as soon as possible. And if you haven't already, subscribe, ring the notification bell because it helps the YouTube algorithm out. And with that, we will catch you all next time. Bye-bye.